In Hong Kong, protesters are ushering in the new year with more demonstrations. Demonstrators staged rallies at shopping malls and formed human chains across the city, calling for better governance and reforms. In a New Year's Eve message, Chief Executive Carrie Lam urged the Hong Kong people to restore order and harmony in 2020. She said the seven months of unrest have caused sadness, anxiety, disappointment and rage. Well, Chinese President Xi Jinping said he sincerely hopes for the best for Hong Kong. Young Waikit joins us live now from Hong Kong. Waikit, so tell us what's the latest on the protest tonight and has it actually dampened the festive spirit merrymaking in Hong Kong? Well, Glenda, first of all, where I'm at in Lan Kwe Fong, it does not seem that the festive mood is dampened. The police behind me seem to be very camera shy. Seconds before we went on air, they were there. And you would know that for a fact, Glenda, because I tweeted uh, and said that I saw a police officer taking a photograph for a family of three. And that is something you've retweeted as well, Glenda. And that is uh, something that shows that the public and the police are getting along just fine here in Lan Kwe Fong. And there is concern because earlier protesters have asked one another to gather in this place to have the anti-government protest movement pushed here but at this moment we are not seeing any of such chaos in fact the public and the police officers seem to be getting along just fine however across the harbor some 30 minutes drive from where we are at prince edward mtr station that's not the case people are gathered there not to count down they were they are there to mark four months of anti sorry they're there to mark four months of what they believe is a police enforcement operations that had resulted in deaths now of course, happy people here are in a very happy, happy mood. Year. All right. Uh, now, like I said, in, at Prince Edward MTR station, people are gathered there because they believe that four months ago, police had killed protesters during their operations. But the authorities have come out to say that those are fake news reports. Uh, so, uh, as of now, however, there does not seem to be widespread chaos which the police had expected on New Year's Eve. Why, Kit, Carrie Lam has called for order, a return to it, and harmony in her New Year's message. But that's not what the protesters have in mind for next year, do they? I mean, they've said persist in 2020. Well, that's right, uh, Don. But when we talk about protesters, I have to point out that there are two main categories of protesters. There are those that come out, they take to the streets, they shout slogans, but they take part in legal and peaceful protests. But there are also those whom the police describe as radicals and that their actions are triad-like because they vandalize facilities, they damage shops. And these are the two main types of protesters that we are looking at moving into 2020. Now, the first group of protesters, the peaceful ones, there is some form of hope that there is reconciliation because earlier President Xi Jinping had said in his New Year's Eve message that he hopes that there will be peace and prosperity uh, back in Hong Kong. Chief Executive Carrie Lam herself has also pushed out a very positive note saying that she will listen to Hong Kong protesters' voices. And that is something that's hopeful. The protesters who are violent, however, that's very clear. They will not tolerate any form of violence. Waikit, well, thank you very much for that update. It's uh, not long now before the new year for you over there. So a ha very happy new year to you, Waikit.